Welcome back to Musilicious by TheGalingEra.com I'm so happy to find you all back here with me today. So, if in the other episode we celebrated Britney Spears and her album Blackout, we can't invite today to celebrate her life antagonist. She has one of the most beautiful voices in the world and she was also the first singer to show a gay kiss in one of her videos. Gentle ladies and gentle gays, but also gentlemen, please let's all give a round of applause to Christina Aguilera and her album Bionic. Bionic is Christina's fourth album. It was released on 8th of June 2010, almost four years after her album Bake to Basics. I'm talking about 10 years ago now. In Bionic, we find much more electro-pop experimentation of music and to obtain these, Christina Aguilera collaborated with Sia, Gofra, Pitches, Levitron um, and Nicki Minaj. Wow, this is Anaconda. Bionic was anticipated by the single Not Myself Tonight, which actually received so many good reviews and critics. Um, because all fans and all um, reviewers actually appreciated a um, return of the singer to a more aggressive and intense sound. And of course we cannot forget her actual very strong appearance. Good choice, Christina. Good choice, I liked it. So just to give you an idea, Billboard magazine defined this album like the best mainstream album of 2010. Well, unfortunately, the album was not considered to be a very successful work for Christina Aguilera. And we also have to think that the entire tour, that the entire walk tour thought for this album was cancelled, of course. And the last single to be extracted from this album, who had to try to lift the fate of Bionic, and I'm talking about the single You Lost Me, actually did not work very well and did not work the magic. I have to be honest, I've never, never, never digested the failure of this album, which for me was a bold and strong and experimental album that did not deserve to be trashed so, so quickly. And now it's time for the curiosity. Octaves, Christina Aguilera can sing. Well, I'll tell you the answer. It's four octaves. Just to tell you, Christina Aguilera's vocal range consists of four octaves. Basically, two notes and a semitone going from A2 to D7. Just to, just to think about that. Um, she's a mezzo-soprano and basically she's one note above Adele. Well, now you know. You can dream on it. <laughs> Thank you for watching this new episode of Musilicious and I'll see you next time with Musilicious. Ciao, ciao.